looks like you're tucking like you're a little drag queen. Okay. I'm just some cheap drag queen playing it straight so he can get laughs. And then you're thinking, my hole is rubbing on my shorts. Um, you got your boy rubbing up on some hot little skank and he apologized to you by busting you a good one. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Not Well. I'm Bobby. And I'm Jim. And I'm in a jock. And he's in Puerto Vallarta. <laughs> it was Mexico. No telling what you got down there. I am by the time this you comes are, out. You are, bitch. You're, in, you're on the your way back, back soon soon after this comes out. Really? This comes out Truly. on Thursdays. You'll be home on Saturday. When are you coming home? Sunday at 10 p.m. Oh. <laughs> it's really late. Because I was like, I don't want to have to leave early. Well, you don't have you know, to. You don't, don't have to do anything. I don't want to do customs. I don't want to do lines. Ew. No line. No line, no customs. So, so. I got a flight at like 2.53. <laughs> On a Sunday, yeah, from fucking Mexico. <laughs> so, yeah, like the whole. So other side. If, so three hours. if anything's delayed, I'm not gonna make it to work Monday. But um, anyways. But it'll be fine. I just w I didn't want to have to wake. The other flights were like 9 a.m. I'm, I'm not getting up you, at 4 a.m. That's how New York I'm, was. Yeah, because I would go out Saturday night and right. have a blast and it, Saturday night because that's gonna be the big night. Everyone's getting just just like in New York fingered. When we remember we're yeah, leaving like, late now because of that. That's why. You have so to. So I did it too, but I did this before you told me to leave. It's weird. We planned it together. I really feel that's the way to go though these days. I used to be like, I need to leave early. Yeah. No, I'm just gonna sleep in because you want to Plus get I paid back for home. It. So you're like, I gotta get home. I know. And it's like for what. So you can lay on the couch and pass out and right. I really enjoy it. You're going to be just tired, pass out. pass out at the place you're mm -hmm. at. Yep. You're going to waste actually more time. More time. More time. <laughs> now, we have a voicemail. I'm... So I got it today and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> it is like not we that... Haven't, we haven't had a voicemail in a while. Yeah. And I think it's the song at the beginning. Did you hear the song at the beginning? You haven't listened to the episode. The song at the beginning? No, I, I was on my phone. On my... On our episode. Have you listened to this week's episode? Oh, no. I looked for it on Wednesday. Did, when do you put them out? Thursday. <laughs> well, that's why. I looked for it Wednesday. I was like, it's When not. do you put them out? And we're like, every Thursday. or It was Wednesdays. I, I thought it but was I Wednesday. Made it, and now it's Thursdays. <laughs> okay. I just, it's easier for me. Literally, I was like, well, I guess he's not doing it this week. <laughs> so I just no, didn't look so again. No, so I had a new, I have a new avenue. I have a no song. Oh, British rap. and tell us what makes you not well. Here are hot beefy gay daddies, Bobby and Jim. That's actually incredible. So I think the phone number though prompted people at the beginning and we got a fucking goddamn phone call. It worked. Here we go. Okay. Hey, Bobby and Jim. It's Todd, who can't talk on the phone again. <laughs> um, actually, I am calling in the middle of your podcast, so I haven't listened to most of it. But I just wanted to say inverted dicks are hot. I like the little turtle. I don't know why. Um, but for anyone who, like, wants this <laughs> liberating clothing optional feeling without getting deer ticks, I definitely recommend the clothing <laughs> optional places in Key West. It's awesome. Oh, Bye. That's a good point. We do need to go to Key West, but yeah, if you're in the middle of Pennsylvania, there are deer tick and such. What's that? Saving something for later in there. It feels like it. So, but did you hear the part about inverted dicks? So, he, so Todd, we Todd debate. likes them. So Todd gave us Todd. a little bit of a opener. What's it called? Yeah. An eye opener. <laughs> That's why I have the sunglasses on. Literally, he's been drinking since noon. Wow. I don't know. No, not noon. You were at grandma's. An hour ago. You were at, yeah, I was at grandma's. So, so that's a good opener because we were talking about inverted dicks after your camping trip last week. Now, my question is, I, I well, he you said. You really do. Hate, wait, do you like them? Okay, yeah. I don't feel like I me. do. You but... mean you don't like a, ran a second belly button on someone's front? Like... It's not real. It's just a little hole. But I think people, like Todd really likes it. And I think that's, that's what I'm again. interested in. So he likes that trail down to the hole, like a yeah, crater. Yeah, he wants, he wants that crater. Oh. He wants to lick in that little. Oh, and then it's like a worm in Star Wars I coming out I of just, the hole. It makes, we make it sound like it's way worse than it probably really is. But it seems like I've never really examined. Because I like when you're at the gay I campground, you're like. I want to see how hard you have to push to get the dick out. Like if you really oh, yeah. push on it. But that's, know? I guess, maybe the whole thing of it. Maybe it's that's like, why you never know. You just never yeah. know what you're going to get. Until that you roll could, it out, I could see that. Okay, but so it makes me. Well, though, cheers to you, Todd. But what I want, <laughs> what I do <laughs> want to say though to that is, 
that's the point I was making about the campground, though. It's like, so Todd likes the inverted yeah, dick. Yeah, so there is a so crowd. So there's, there's somebody for everybody. You're you not really think weird. It, Your dick is not weird. We were talking Promise. about you actually having diarrhea on the dance floor later this oh, night. Oh, yeah. So I, so I think that there are people out there who would slurp that up with well, a straw. I think I got grape poisoning. And Tell we, us about We need to discuss that. about the grapes. We need to warn people. Uh, this is a warning. You okay. texted me and you were like, I don't know what's wrong. I'm shitting water. I thought it oh. And then I was like, why? And you were like, I love Ozempic. how I love to tell it's you. It's the Ozempic. I'm I love like, <laughs> well, that's a bad visual. I, I love how Matt like, I'm blacking out on the you were toilet like, I think, shit in you my were brain. Like, I think I'm peeing from my asshole. I was yeah, like, I was. okay, I, well. I peed from my asshole. Virtual pat on the back. Like, I was well, like, very, what do you want from me? <laughs> I, I literally was like, help me. Pepto-Bismol. Like, upset yeah. stomach, indigestion. I don't know. I think I just tell you everything. <laughs> Yeah, like my I, asshole's <laughs> leaking out gush. How are That's, you? It's I was like, like, I don't know what to say. I did not it know. It hit me like a ton of rocks, but here's what I just discovered then, today. It took you two days. Two days. This morning was my last, but it was getting, do you know how it's coming when it comes back a little bit? You're like, okay, it's still kind of coming out but too then, easy. But, but then a little chunk like yeah. slips out. <laughs> like it doesn't even hurt. No, you're like, oh, we're start, okay, we're starting it to slides. back up a little it's bit like, again. Okay, okay, girl. There's a solid. There's yeah. a solid. Because I was literally, there was no solids <laughs> yeah. at all. I'm talking if I poured this out on screen, that was coming out of my asshole. And I was like, am I peeing out of my hole? <laughs> Um, and then you thought you were trans. And then I was like, <laughs> and then I thought I it's I've got to be trans at the least. I mean, I might probably be like maybe you were having the sensation of what it's like before. Or, I mean, it kind of feels good to have a little pussy. Then I mean, a little drippage out of your crack hole. First of all, nothing's gonna hit the water. Well, also your balls right now. Let's, I know your balls are so low. Um, <laughs> I never really thought of that. Yeah, they're gonna hit the water. Well, sometimes they do hit the water. <laughs> Only oh sometimes. God. It depends on the toilet. Oh my god! It depends on the that's toilet. That's horrifying to me. Toilet. That's how Courtney says it. Toilet. Turlet. That's young Actually, or young. There's in Sp Springfield. Turlet. Turlet. They say turlet. turlet. Yeah. Now, what else do they say there? That's really weird. The zinc. A Z instead of an S. The zinc. Go wash your hands at the zinc. <laughs> Actually, they say wash too instead of wash. The washing machine. And they're just not that far away. Nope, it's literally half an hour. You would never. And they're like, oh, hey, hey, go go wash yourself off. Go wash yourself We're like, where the goddamn fuck am I? Only 30 minutes ding, outside. Ding, 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 ding. Na, 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 na. So, anyway, I got grape poisoned. And I think I discovered it today because then I was looking up symptoms. What happened was, is we recorded. So, I, of course, I took my fucking edible. And after the recording, I didn't want to have ice cream. So, I wanted what? something healthy. So I grab a bag of grapes. You did. This is why you never try to be healthy. Right. This is a perfect <laughs> example. Eat a cookie. Just eat a fucking cookie. Right. Because so then I wash the grapes in the sink and then I'm like, literally I keep going back over there and just <laughs> ripping off of the vine and just shoving it in my mouth. I'm, I'm talking like, like the whole it, bag of grapes is gone. I probably ate 70 grapes at least. Oh God. From a bag. Like the bag. Yeah. It, That's almost, a lot of grapes. No, I was ripping handfuls off and be like, oh, God, stop. Is what I said. Be Sorry. I know it's really disgusting, but at least it was grapes. Well, no, it not because now I literally couldn't eat anything. I had a half a cup of rice yesterday because so you I, still have your eating disorder even while on Ozempic. It was worse. Yeah. Oh my god. And then I texted my nurse and said, "Oh my god, I'm shitting." <laughs> She's like, "It's probably something else." I asked her if I went up a dose, and we did. Because I thought it made you constipated normally. Right. Yeah. So that's why we really. That's why it wasn't the Ozempic. Like, it why was... did we even not know that? But now well, because we it can make people have diarrhea, but it yeah. hasn't for me. So why would it just start now? Do you know what right. I mean? True. Do you know what I mean? Now they did. I did read, and this is going to be a little TMI, a little graphic, a little je ne sais quoi, which we haven't said in so long. <laughs> um, there was a. I, of course, I'm on the internet going, "Oh my god, I ate grapes. What is Zozempic? Yeah, what is you're it? like. They said that you can have a hard shit in your hole. I'm just. This is going to be a lot. Okay, that there could be a a shit blocking, so your body naturally creates then diarrhea and it goes around it obstication yeah this is real something weird and I, i'm like yeah it's real and i'm like oh my god is that what's happening to me it's i real. don't think so but no that's a real thing yeah like so that's what you thought was happening yes and i was like oh my god i have that's... an intestinal blockage well because i'm usually a little bit constipated yeah so that's why you're such a good like, bottom constipated a little bit, <laughs> a little bit constipated i'm not a, a good bottom my asshole hurts everything hurts on me my body hurts i can't be a bottom sorry i know there's a lot of fantasies out there about they're really topping a big boy yeah climb and, atop the polar bear and you know it depends on who you are um <laughs> and the situation uh because some people can am climb I in my a board. high rise some people can climb aboard am i in my high rise at a hotel in the middle 
middle of New York City acting like a little oh. batty batty bitch. Batty and batty being like, boy. Come up to floor thirty five. Oh, and I'll be that's laying not even high there, honey. Floor floor thirty five is the penthouse, honey girl. I'm talking a hundred plus. Oh yeah, it probably is. It's really big. Okay. It took him like four years to build, or five years, for real. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm kind of freaking out. But actually. I think COVID actually fucked it a little oh, bit. Oh, you're talking about the hotel, okay? Yeah. What were you talking about? I thought you were talking about a fantasy where you have a guy who has a. You're like house. really trying to follow through, and I'm really. <laughs> I can't wait to play that <laughs> shit back. I'm like. <laughs> Talking you're talking about, about the hotel. goddamn hotel. I was like, you that's all you're talking about? about? I was like, really? You're like, yeah, yeah, okay. You're trying and to like, keep creating like, this fantasy. Fifth floor. I was like, 35 is not. I'm like, yeah, yeah. well. Yeah, they just built it in four and five years And I'll ago. be spread eagle on the back. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, my God. We're gonna <laughs> I'm like, he's cheap. We're He'll be spread eagle on the 35th floor. Can I'm I up on 112. <laughs> yeah. I'm literally like, I'm like, I'm like you're like, oh, the hotel. I'm like, yeah. And you're like, I thought you were talking about the mistress you were going to bring. Yeah, like, no, mistress. literally like the guy that has a penthouse that invites uh, okay. us back up oh, because we deserve hot. that. Right. Yeah, uh, we're hot. <laughs> we deserve it. Your, th your fantasies involve a hotel. Mine involve the penthouse. Right. Literally. Right. On Billionaire's Row. I'm like. I'm talking about looking over Central Park. Okay. I want to see the view. And, Sorry. <laughs> and I love when you drink wine, by the way. I know. You get wine. a little sassy, you get a little silly, you get a little... You wine, say, it's really? The grapes. It's the grapes. <laughs> Is that what we just fucking learned? Right. You get diarrhea, I get sassy. You get sassy, I get a whole problem. And it's gone. And I have hopefully. a whole problem, too. You haven't discussed. Well, I just feel it's just... No, not hemorrhoids, really, but like... <laughs> It just feels different. Feels different. It does. It's old. It really <laughs> when you get older, your whole just have you feel ever same. just thought like I need to just look at it real quick no, to see if I don't, it's abnormal. I always yeah, and I'm always actually pleasantly I, surprised. I'm like, oh, some days I'm really not pleasantly hey, surprised. Some days there's two dark areas where yeah. I'm like, is that a hole? No, <laughs> it's just the dark it's skin. Pilotal. I hate. I know this that. dark skin phenomenon. We gotta get bleached. I, I don't can't like do it. it. I don't it looks like, like a little triangle shit. of dark. It, it's shit. It's, it's a lifetime of shit. It's a lifetime of shits. Just literally every. It's do we have a phobia of dark holes? Because I remember that one picture I showed you. I was like, this guy's hot, except. And I showed you this well, it's dark like do tan trail from just, the, the lower back why all do I not? the way down to the t like ball sack. And it's like, why is there a darkness there? I want to say to everybody out there, though, as I was listening to this last episode, <laughs> I'm talking about it right here. We're actually pretty normal guys, and we really wouldn't care about that. Just saying. We, yeah, show us we your like, <laughs> like, yeah. We're speaking truth here, but also we do like to kind of push the boundaries of truth. So if you're all offended because we don't your poopy butthole, we don't <laughs> want you to really be upset about it is what I'm trying to say. No, We're kind of just fucking around. If I saw you in the sling, I'm like, in the eagle, I'd I'm not going to say ew. We'd yeah. probably fuck you. We'd probably or think you're it. hot. I'd probably eat it. Probably <laughs> <laughs> Just little... to see what the flavor is. See what that is. Beef sukiyaki. <laughs> well, and honestly, I can't imagine older guys ask. No. No. I just can't do it. Oh, that's a different. Yeah, we're, we're entering that era. I'm the older guy <laughs> asshole. Right? So I'm like, oh, these boys want to fuck me at the club. No. They, they turn the corner, see that hole, and they're like, they oh, he's over 40. They literally run they're like, from Oh, it. no, there's oh, that shit. triangle of and death. there's that scar there. There's yeah, the no. shit triangle and the pilonidal scar. Yeah, the pilonidal um, scar. It's there. It's real. It's we're not. Oh, my God. We are the old people. I know. I can't wait to go out in a little bit. We're going to be like, hey. And they're like, no, no. Put your clothes back on. <laughs> You're like. No, you get up to the front to clothes check, and they're like, no, no. We No. No. We're, we're not going to do we're that. Not we don't want to expose the boys. Um, Literally. So, I have some things. Oh, I have so many things. Oh, really? Oh, my God, yeah. Go ahead. You go to yours, though. I'm saying we both can. Every week, I have to get outshine. We can collaborate. Or is it outshone? Outshine, outshine bars. Those are my favorite. I had a lime one last night. I did, too. Okay. After mashed potatoes. Actually, this is perfect timing. Actually. <laughs> no, this is crazy weird. Oh, God. Here we go. Does your thumb ever get tired holding the outshine bars? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking... Wow. I'm telling you, bitch. I can We just not. talked about it. That's my top line. That was my uh, top line. Now, let me show you the text. Like, I you're not going to believe me. Not. Look. Does your thumb ever get tired holding the outshine bars? <laughs> I'm sorry. Does your thumb get tired? Yes. I, you might have a week. I'm, holding, I'm surprised, though, because you're a gamer. Like this, and I'm like, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh. And then it's like, 
<laughs> it doesn't go down quickly for me, so I have to chew. I have to bite it. I bite my outshine bars. Well, I have to do. <laughs> you don't bite yours. You're no, slurping. No, but sometimes at the end, end I'm like, oh, I, do a little... <laughs> I will look over at the couch and I'm like, he's really going to town. Matt said that too one day. He was like, he's really going to town on that. I'm like, he's deep throating the outshine I bars. Literally I literally was just. I'm like, ow, ow. ew, I don't. Okay, first of I'm all, taking off I don't chunks. bite ice. I'm, wor <laughs> I'm worried about drips. I'm worried about chunks falling That's off. That's why you gotta suck it. That's why you're. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like a. <laughs> See that yeah. to me. So, I can't, but anybody wants. Thumbs, so I don't do that, so they last longer than yours. <laughs> you yours you disappear your like that. You <laughs> I don't bite really. <laughs> <laughs> and it gets you're hard fine. holding it. I don't know why. And then if I do that, I switch to the other side, but then that's my weak <laughs> I, hand. So what? the left hand, the left That's actually kind of concerning. I feel like you might need to go see a specialist for that because I really. I did wonder. I was like, is it a neurologic yeah, disorder? Yeah, it's probably the ALS. It's my biggest. Well, one Would I... you do the ice bucket challenge if I got ALS? That's a question for you, honey. And I know the answer. And I, wow. I know oh you wouldn't. God. You wouldn't uh... fucking do it. You wouldn't. You'd be like, he's dead already. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Can he even. Can you even Move. feel it? <laughs> yeah. It's not funny. Oh, We're very wait, serious I about... forgot about that. <laughs> Don't get on the, oh my God, not, Terry. You would have no. saved Terry Shivo. Oh, you would have been down in Florida protesting. Keep her alive. She needs to live freedom of choice. They're starving her. They turned off her food. They're like, she saw the balloon. <laughs> and she That's did. That's you. Yeah. Actually, we don't know it. What if it is like you're just high the whole time? What if you are? What if you're the best high of your life? You're tripping balls. You don't even know that you're, you're like, just hearing stupid. What if things, you're in a like, full this fucking nurse's back? God damn no, it! No, I wonder. I'm gonna have to listen to her fart. Can you imagine if in that state you're in a trippy world, like Alice in Wonderland? Even though I've yes. never really seen that movie, by the oh, way. Admitting something, we should watch that. It's good, but just scary, kind of weird. Mm. It's not good. Really? It's trippy. Okay, maybe I need Actually, drugs. You, yeah, we gotta watch. You that. can chug a little wine. You can chug your grapes. Right now? No, I was saying oh. before the show. Oh, yeah, I'll chug a little Watch wine. It. I was like, damn, he really wants me no, to chug. No, but what if you're laying there like, hazing? what if you're in a full trip and you don't even know that you're in the hospital and you're living this other life in your head? Yeah. In your subconscious. You're living a whole other life and you don't really realize it. And when you wake up, you lose all of it. And then you're like, then you wake up again and there's another. Man, how high are you right now? What? That's what I sometimes think about how many levels of simulation you're in. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wake up one day and it's gonna be I'm gonna be like, oh, that was a fun game, and then I'm well, gonna then remember. Well, then you definitely though. don't even Never. have to be worried about death, right? Because you're just going back to this the is other basically life. me creating a new religion just to make everybody feel better. Yeah, you're like I'm afraid of death, so what would be good if I died? Well, if I just had another life to go into, would wake up to. <laughs> oh my god, that's just, you. Okay, I'm you too high for this, this conversation. Up. I am too high. Oh you my god, I just like, literally got so much anxiety. That's why. Wait. I just cracked it. That's why you like simulation theory. Well, yeah, because it's giving me more hope than Jesus. you're afraid of death, but you're like, well, if it's all simulation, then I'll wake up in that world. Right, it's, it's me. A, it's the denial of it's death. It's because of the death. The, I just the, realized the, that. But the death. I thought it was a separate thing. I didn't even connect them. Oh, it's just fully now. about the afterlife. And I'm like, and wait. Fully, I want to keep waking up. Because I would do it too. Up. Yeah. Like Inception. Okay. You're like, wake yes. up, wake okay. up, wake Inception. up. Exactly. So they, they're like, old Does men. the top fall? I don't know. Does it stop spinning? Yeah. I don't know. I'm not convinced. I'm not either. And those kids, but you saw their faces finally at the end. So I'm thinking. Anyway, we got to watch it. Okay. Yeah. What was I saying though? But that? denial of death. Yeah. Yeah. That's, what that's your simulation fully. Thing yeah. Is so about. that's what I, I always want, like, to slow down time. So then the next life is faster time. But I'm living in this other simulation. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? You Where keep coming out. Down, yeah. yeah. Or maybe I'm. I don't know. Life's weird. Okay, and don't do drugs and start talking about it because I'm freaked the fuck out right now. I just, I just, it's weird that I made that connection. Well, it's weird. And then the outshine bars and the thumb, things are connecting. I know. The universe. Let me read my Did top I tell line. You, let me tell you about this story to really freak oh. you out, maybe. I only told one other person, Matt knew, and then oh, I only told fuck. Sabrine because I'm like, this is too weird. So on Monday night before we recorded, I had a dream that we were traveling out west. Me, Matt, Penny and then my family because my parents just got that motor RV. coach. So I was like, right. yeah, we're out. And we were hiking and Penny's on her leash and she got bit by a rattlesnake, a poisonous snake. And we're in the middle of nowhere. So I'm just like, did you suck it out of her? There's nothing to do. I knew she was going to die. So and you was, had a full and fledge. And I woke up and was freaked out, remembered this. <sighs> okay. I hate those. Two days later, this guy and his husband that we met in Mexico City when I was there with Sabrine. So that's why I told Sabrine first. He posts, 
Well, a day and a half <gasps> later, he posts that his dog got bit by a venomous snake in Costa Rica where he lives part of the time. Do you know the other part of the time that where he lives? Denver. And my dream was clearly in the mountains outside Denver. Oh, uh, uh, But he was, the dog, I mean, but still, the dog was in Costa Rica, so I didn't really dream that part. No, you know? but, but it's like. No, but it's weird that that. If that, you dream that and then it happened, that's why someone's in the A day and a half later. I'm telling you. And you just, we're talking about outshine bars, and the first thing on my list yep. is an out. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. Something's I'm weird. I'm telling you. Where are the simulations? Yeah, there's parts where you're like, you can make those connections if you see them. You have oh. to see them. Which they people are, are going to be like, that means you're crazy. You're like trying to make no. connections. But it's like, I really feel no, like No, you really there can't connect things. everything. Yes. Like everything connects to each other. I don't know about everything. I don't know if I can see the connection between everything yet, but I do. I feel, feel like, like I do because everything in the world works off of something else. Every living thing on this earth has to rely on other living things <laughs> in order to. So think about like, evolution. <laughs> this fucking bitch! Oh my god! Think about evolution. <laughs> I'm like, uh, seriously, think, think about, about the revolution. Think about the revolution. Yeah, you're like, every living thing relies on no, but other living th it's It true. does, though. It's a working system. It is all connected. So, yes, everything's Back connected. Back to that point, though. Right. It is. It clearly is. I think, oh, no. <laughs> I've almost oh, no, we're going crazy. deep. Oh, no. <laughs> I was like, I think items. Sip your juice, Shelby. I literally think, <laughs> I think inanimate objects might possibly be able to hold on to memories. <laughs> because there is something like about that trash certain, can no well maybe certain items that have been worshipped maybe yeah, that yeah. people have poured energy into mm -hmm. like prayers thoughts thoughts and dousing prayers. it in oil yeah. doing all the different religious traditions across the world there's something about those types of statues they're just made of stone or ceramic or whatever i think they have a power oops so because everybody's putting their energy into it have you ever had a statue like that, a religious statue? Because I had a statue of Mary that was like that. That was my mom's. And you always felt like it, something was not freaky, right. Yeah, freaky. something was not right. Like in grandma, a good way, though. Right, like in a... Not in bad, She's going to protect like, me, but it's also kind of... Like, can you imagine if what's she... What's this? I'm sorry. Let's just pretend right now. Like, Yeah, I'm pretending. Let's pretend Mary gets sent back down from heaven, and she's standing right in front of us right now. What the fuck would... I'd be so fucking scared. No, thanks. Yeah, I would die. I would be... No, if this right now, someone in a blue robe. All of a sudden, here she is out of my mind i would be, I would like, be like i'm fucked like this wine has mushrooms in it or something like something's I'm wrong done. yeah yeah i'd be like send me out i'm done i want to end this but that's what i think is so crazy about things also though, like... let's check if you're really a virgin bitch because <laughs> i know you're not <laughs> oh the way i just left um yeah yeah so let's see what if also while we're in did i erase all of my fucking notes <laughs> no <gasps> because I've almost done that actually. So one of them is I'll do an interesting one first. I'm freaked out. Okay. This okay. We've been talking about freaky things, and I have some. Well, mine's more. I'm totally changing the subject, sort of. Okay. But and this might have a connection somehow. <laughs> I don't know how. So I'm admitting something. I'm an asshole. I'm a horrible person. When I sometimes there's, I'll just read what I said. I like to talk to guys on Grinder just for conversation, but when I'm out, I act like I don't see them. What the fuck is up with that? You're one of those. No, but I'm because not. Because I keep be seeing tweets about like, don't be an asshole and act like we haven't talked. No, I won't be an asshole, but I'm not the one that's gonna come up to you. I'm just uh, gonna okay. say it. So it seems like I'm being cunty right now when I say this, but I'm just letting you know. I'll walk into the bar though and be like, but if someone came up to you and was like, hey, we've been talking, like, like hey, like, oh yeah, my yeah. god, I'd be like, oh hey man, yeah. You've never done it though. No, well, sounds like that doesn't happen. No, but okay. So here's the other part of it. This is the caveat. This is the part I'm going to. <laughs> this is the part you're going to. Sometimes, sometimes they look so bad in person. You don't even fucking. I knew it. I knew it. Times, sometimes you do see them in person, <laughs> and then you're with your other friends that don't know that you talk to this person. <laughs> And you don't want them to judge and you. Then you don't want them to you're like, yeah. you're like, you were talking to him on Grindr. Right, so you don't want to. I would, I would do that too. I would be like, be oh, like... Bobby, <laughs> I know you're fapping at home. <laughs> is something wet happening right now? Wet ass pussy. Oh, is our food here? I think. Yeah, it is here. Oh my God. What were you talking about? That wine. Oh, Honey, the way that wine is. <laughs> wine. The way that Oh, whole, here's the bad. Oh, yeah. Wine. So I yeah. would judge you for yeah, sure. Right. I would be like, that person but is way below you. Like the, but sometimes I really enjoy talking to them, and that's not even... <laughs> that's no fucking lie. That makes you sound so lonely. <laughs> but no, sometimes I like, I'll talk to them for a while, and then I'm like, or I'll talk... We're not compatible. <laughs> 
well, and then you find out they're uncut, and you're like, we're not compatible. <laughs> I'm not actually a fan. <laughs> Girl, I know the truth. No. The little wizard sleeve it's usually, is up your Here's alley. the other problem for me is I see people in pictures and I'm like, oh, they're kind of yeah, they're, tall. They're, they're, they're like 5'6". six. you got to take off and like three a beefy, points in your mind. A beefy rolly, like beefaroni. And I'm like, I thought you were going to be like, at least a little taller. That's, no, there's a few. That, that is happening a lot, actually. A lot. A lot of beefy Where I'm like, wow, these guys are really muscled. And then you see them in person. I'm like, no, you have a big fat. arm because you're tiny. Right. Your arm is this long. You look so like fucking Fifo. Oh, fuck. Fifle with roids. Somewhere out there. I don't even know what you're singing. Uh, Fifle. <laughs> Fifle goes west. Fifle goes <laughs> I think it's Fifle it goes is, west. It is. Cheers. Cheers to Fifle. Cheers to Fifle. Um, so, yeah. So, if you hear that and you're a little... Offended. Offended. I'm just sorry. Just remember, at least you saw my private. Right. I'll send you my dick pic. I just don't know if I can... Girl. <sighs> That's that terrible. Yeah, no, it's bad. Oh, well, fuck it. Fuck everyone. You're a bad person. Um, Cancel me. I wanted to talk about this. I saw a commercial from Dawn Dish Soap. Oh, And it was no. like, of course. First of all, you can. T there's so many critiques. So it's one of those Break commercials where there is a duck covered in oil and someone's cleaning the duck with off like with Dawn Dish Soap. With like rubber gloves and like. What I realized is that when they put the duck in the, when the fake oil gets on it, they have an asterisk at the bottom in the small font that's like, real oil was not used or something like that. Just to be like, don't worry, we didn't pour worry. oil on a duck. Like, I wasn't even thinking that, but okay, thanks. That is woke. interesting. Woke. Woke but media. Then they get to the end, and they're like, Don rescues wildlife. Only or he says, sometimes. Like, <laughs> says, Don, we help wildlife. How is this a commercial? I was watching, I'm like, Don does not help wildlife as their primary focus, right? They just make soap and sell it. Right. It's Isn't dish, that right? Am I making it up? It's a dish show, but dish show. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dish, dish show. <laughs> oh, fuck. We gotta, fuck. We got to get your pasta Alfredo. But anyways, I just, I feel it's a lie. It's disingenuous. I don't like it. You don't help wildlife. Right, That's like, not why you have a commercial. Okay, you're trying it. to sell your product. You're a and corporation. Also, you're for profit. They donate. You so sell. you oh, donate wow. so then they can donate your money and then yes. get a tax break. Exactly. Anyways. So fuck you, corporations. Next thing I have. Okay. We're just going to rapid fire here. I, Kissing 101. Calm the fuck down with your mouth and tongue. I'm watching some people kiss, and I think yes, to myself, what yes. the fuck is happening here? I know. Especially, and now, here's another, con I'm really controversial. I'm going to have to cut out so much shit. Well, I was going to be cunty back right now, but okay. Go ahead. I'm actually getting really tired of some of the kissing going on. <laughs> because what I'm noticing, and I don't know if this is a trend or what, but... A lot of people are afraid to use tongue oh. fully. I'm talking they won't do it at all. Okay, so. And I'm sitting there like, what's this? Okay, wait, like, wait, 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 wait. Let's talk about kissing then. Yeah. Okay, so. I'm a kissing do queen. You I've been told I'm really good. Thank mm. you, water hose water girl. And Courtney's worst night of her life. Um, oh, no, okay. she, she said I was a really good kisser. We can call her and ask her. We can call and ask 15 different guys right now. We could. I'm a really fucking good kisser. Sorry. I don't believe you. Okay. Well, anyway, I don't <laughs> Prove really. It. So I don't believe. <laughs> I don't believe in the tongue. No. Now I no do me. sometimes. It's a little. <gasps> <laughs> but I'm not one of those going. <gasps> and like, ew. Uh, they're like, uh, oh like, my god. So do you shove a whole tongue in your mouth? I will suck on the other person's tongue and pull it out of their mouth. <laughs> They'll do it to mine. What about the tonsil stones? That we don't have. I don't tongue have tongue stones. I had them taken out. Oh. Honey, this is pure. No. <clears throat> Wait, you don't? Do not, you get it? Not a... that I know of. Bitch, I have. I do. Bitch, I'm from Chicago. You remember I've thrown up on a dick before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I obviously have a gag reflex. Yeah, yeah. And it wasn't a big one. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> so I have a really strong gag reflex. <laughs> Bitch. Bitch. Now. Okay. So I like a little tongue though, but you're just kind of like a barely at all. Okay, so I'm not a barely at all. It depends on where on we're at. On a scale of zero to ten, you're probably a three max. I'm at like seven, eight. The whole time. Oh yeah. Oh no. Even when I start out, unless I. Ew! No, I can't do it. You know when I fucked on the dance floor? That's how I. <laughs> that's how I made that happen. Literally. It was all by kissing. Well, right. Because so, I kept turning them on, and they were like, oh, no, oh, no. And then we would make out again, and then I would do more of the tongue I stuff. Just, and it, it, I just, for me. And then he was like, oh, now I have to get fun. I'm like, okay. So, 
So kissing, kissing. 101. <laughs> so for me, I like to ease into it. Like, I don't want to just automatically just start shoving tongues in each other. And then when we're getting really hot and heavy and things okay. are really starting like to go, that. okay. that's when I go big time. Then I'm like really. Sh oh, okay. Well, then that is as long as there's a crescendo. No, it's a crescendo. I don't like the. Okay, I don't like to start fine. that way because then I'm like calm down. Yeah, like it's I don't. Kind of, yeah, it depends I get, on the. I get that. It depends on the situation. Right. Like at the bar, how far gone you are. at the bar, usually you're on ecstasy or like whatever they take there, and. But uh, not you. No, not us. But the twinks that go in there, like they are on. Yeah. Fuck me. It's like oh no. I can't do ecstasy. I'm on so an antidepressant. Yeah, you are too. Okay, serotonin syndrome. No, we can't do it. Yeah, I'm so freaked out about that. By the way, because well, people always want you to. Every I've been offered it so many times that I'm like, I, I sound really... like such an old like, fart right now. But <sighs> it's sad. Fart. It's like I kind of do want to try ecstasy. I do too. I want to be monitored though. That's the problem. Is I want to be like yeah, monitored I want medically. my blood pressure, my yeah, heart rate, everything, my I brain want to make waves, sure everything. The certain ounces of water per oxygen hour that getting you need. to my brain. Like, yeah, like I, everything. Oxygen. I want to be able to like yeah, hydrate me while I. And then rub me, <laughs> I think, because that's what you want. No, that's what, because that's what you want. I feel like when I you're, feel... here's, here's what I think XC does. No, I think exactly. that's what it is. You're like, yeah, rub me. Do you? <laughs> I just imagine one of the annoying druggy kids from high school being like, yeah, rub me. Like when rub me. Like, with a bad dye job, they'd use cool. Yeah, and you're like, girl, it's like, like your hair I know shit. you're from. You're not emo as, at all. You're not even real. <laughs> you're not well, even no, emo. No, I was saying something good. You were saying something about being on ecstasy and being at the dance floor and they're rubbing No, no. Okay, like, so you know that moment I was talking about, not serotonin, but what's the other thing? Dopamine. Dopamine. One of those. Dopamine, yeah. It. I know it for a fact. Oh, it's real. Dopamine is like you what were a you smoker. feel in drugs. You were a smoker. You know what dopamine is. Yeah, that's Every true. Every time you were like, oh, Not really. Fuck. No. That is it. I used to be like, I'm going to get cancer. I'm psycho. But you still have the physical sensation. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. But no, but have you thought about that, though? That's what XC is, though. That moment when you no, finally get the person that you want. mainly, but then. Oh, the feeling like being. Yeah. Like okay. when. So when you get touched, you have that feeling of like. They love me. Oh, yeah. Like yeah, that. Yeah. You know they the feeling. You oh, know yeah. the feeling. Oh, yeah. When they're like. When it finally happens, you and, you're like, and you're like, oh, they're rubbing me you're back. Just, oh, God. I just got chills. Like, because it really makes me think of like. It's been a while. Well, no, you? I no. Time, no. Time to cut. <laughs> cut no, it hasn't. I don't know what this was. I know it's something. It's, a, it's for the deaf people. Now, <laughs> I did learn sign language last night. Now, do you have anything else? Yes. Okay. Um, We're okay. rapid firing. Rapid okay. fire. So I recently, just yesterday, uh, went and got <laughs> back waxed and ear waxed. What the fuck? I'm at that You're age. You're old. I'm old. You're an old gay. Like, <laughs> I know. This is when no. most people let it grow out. Girl, let it grow. I never felt older than when I was this 23-year-old has to stick wax in my ear. Wow. But then I realized mm. that she's doing, like, girls' vaginas that she doesn't want to see and, right. and men's assholes. So I was like, the ears are not that bad. The back's yeah, like, not that bad. You know, I... But, I, know. I mean, they <laughs> offer manzillions, so you know some guy that should not be going in there for that is going in there to get sexual pleasure from it because he gets to be naked dopamine. in front of a girl. He's on dopamine. Ecstasy. No problem. Well, he's probably. Not, probably he takes and goes probably. to the Can you imagine that? The wax going, oh, oh I want to put a hot wax on oh, your Oh, put on my pussy. They do. And then now, they offer, I just, I can't. They offer around the, they offer the whole only. They also, but, <laughs> I just want to say though, it hurts so bad. I would never wax my hole. I, know, I, I don't the, know the Brazilians. When you watch, when a woman gets a Brazilian, I'm like, what the fuck? First of all, those papers freak me Ow! out. Ow! I don't even think I have. Ow! You know what's weird? They don't really have those papers anymore. They use another piece of it and they roll it off or something. It's weird. No, they use papers on mine. Oof. I got a big back. That makes me feel like really I got a lot. I have way more back hair than you have. Yeah, I know. Because I have a patch up here, a patch below. Yeah, you can tell. Pieces. It's fine. You just you're a hairier person than I am. Someone say manlier. Someone. Anything to say. Now, oh. what you're reminding me of right now is a fucking keyboard warrior. And we did talk about this last week. We were going to bring this up. And I'm getting tired. I am getting tired. Of <laughs> I'm getting tired of keyboard warriors. I love it how you can sit behind your goddamn computer and you bitch. I yeah. posted something that was kind of not that funny, but you didn't have to say anything. No. I wish you would quit this. And I'm like, okay, so I go to this no, page. No I was picture, say, no I videos. Girl, so I said, at least the, I'm putting stuff out. The comments on YouTube, whenever I read the comments, I'm like, 
something's off with these people. They're so something's mad. Yeah, They're like, so mad off. when they see us. I'm like, but you're getting hi. There's an algorithm on YouTube, by the way. So right. if, if you're you getting keep, it, that means you've been looking, you're looking for it. You love it. So you fucking love it. But that to me, ooh, what? Ew, really cracking there. She's a cracking head. We've got pasta. You're a crack. I know. I'm wrapping up. I don't know if you're you being are. a keyboard warrior. Sundries. Sundries. <laughs> this is a short ass episode, girls. It's not that short. It's fine. Wait till I edit it out. It'll be like thirty. Well, it's fine. Everybody can take a little less of us. Fuck them. They don't. I don't it. think it'll hurt anything. <laughs> But anyway, don't be a keyboard warrior. I know we just went to sundry. But I need to finish what I just said. Don't be a god. <laughs> I was like, don't what? be a goddamn keyboard warrior. It's annoying. It's embarrassing, especially if you have nothing to back it up. <laughs> that's all I had to say. And that's not my sundry. So get ready, keyboard warrior. Okay. Mm, I don't know that I shared this story. Oh no, it already sounds bad. Sundry, I would say. Is, wait. I shouldn't. No, I can't really go into it all. Okay, so I'm going to have to do a different sundry. It's wow. She literally just teased us and then said, nope, not going to do well, it. Well, I'm like trying. I don't know. I how know. To, I yeah, was trying to. F you're it's, tr too you gotta, it's too much story. It's too much stuff. Much connection. Yeah, it's too much bad. Connection. Connection. <laughs> yeah. This episode has been brought to you by. Connections. Connect with your best friends or the your universe lovers. The universe says hello. Da -dun -dun. Do you sundry. have a sundry? Because I don't, apparently. Yeah. I, I don't know. What the fuck is a sundry about tonight? The sundry I have. I have a sundry. Okay. No, I can't say that one either. Never mind. You got to go into your This is absolutely ears. fucking bad I, shit. They're too real. That's the problem. <laughs> they're too close to home. Um, my sundry would be this. <clears throat> and we've talked about this before slightly. But let's just say you're at your job. And you take a vacation day. But when you come back from that vacation day, the first thing your leader says to you is, we're in a real shit show right now. <laughs> and I say, what do you mean? And then they say, well, it's been handled. And I'm like, okay, so is it a shit, so show, or a not? shit show or not? Also, sorry, I took a vacation right, day. day. And so then he's you like. You can't take any days off, apparently. Nope. I was out. I was here till six o'clock and then I, I was dirty because I had to crawl underneath the, you know what? Oh, well. You had vacation days. It's like, you I can can't do whatever you want. Uh, you should not be. I had the worst week this week. No I, company should rely on their employees to the extent that if they have to take a day off or get sick, everything falls apart. That, you don't have enough employees. Right. That's your problem. You don't have enough We're employees. We're all literally, oh my God. Like, if you're that thin that you take one day off and it's a shit storm, mm -hmm. fuck that place. Well, I'm really smart, though, too. You so got to retire. I'm just time to retire. No, I want but you to it, retire. But it really is one of those things where I'm like, what in the fuck? Yeah. Literally. I like that. Sundries. <laughs> sundries. You have to have one. I kind of, my sundry is jock straps. Okay. And I'm Let's sorry talk. because. It's they don't <laughs> <laughs> they don't look hot on everyone. And that's kind of where I was I'm half a virgin when I met him. And I'm not saying I'm the hottest. I mean, look at me. Look at him. I'm not even saying that. I'm not saying that only certain people can wear them. I'm just saying we need even to me personally, I will put on a jock strap that I think is going to be just the most perfect thing. And the damn straps are running up into the yep. fat on my ass to <laughs> yep. the point where you can't see the straps. Is the and thing then, too high on my waist or and not? Then, but then I have to pull up the part right. right here to really make those straps pull up the ass. But when I pull that up, it looks like a triangle <laughs> on the sides where it's like coming down because the strap is yep. pulled. I, like the waistband's too high, but the straps are too low, so it pulls them down. Basically, my ass doesn't fit in it. I, Do you, and it's not because I have a hot ass. It's just like, I think jock straps, they can't fit well except for one person. It's that perfectly sculpted yeah, you perfect. ass. You have to be yeah. perfect to wear them. So my pro, I just want jock straps to be for everyone. But they are, and that's the beauty I mean, of it. It doesn't matter what if, you look like. If you in have it. it, if it's going in your asshole or not. Like I mean, well, and then this is a corollary. Cellulite. I don't want to have it. I'm tired of it. I don't want to have okay, it. Okay, so last week we talked about how, remember at the beginning of the show, we were I talking I have about, it. Well, so do we. So do I. So do I. So do I. 
I'm fine with it, but I don't want to see it. So I actually maybe I should just not wear well, jock straps. Yeah, it sounds like you've just body shamed yourself into not wearing jock straps. For me, it's more the fact that it pushes your dick so fucking it hurts so bad when I sit where I'm down. like I just, I just sat down and was like ow. And also I'm when tucked. you really think about I'm it, tucked. when you walk around with your hole out. Which at our Every, bar, it touches you have to everything. cover your hole. But there's all this hole that's just there. Think about how gross guys are. Think about how gross you are when you're in the quiet of your own home. Think about how gross you are. No, I'm actually not very gross. Yeah, you are. It's it's all about the perception. But my, I'm. You can ask Matt. I'm I'm the not gross one. Oh, you don't. Well, fart? Michael's grosser than you. No, oh, I, I don't even fart. I, oh, that's weird. Well, anyway, actually, no, I don't know if he's the more gross one. Well, and then there's me. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, he's more gross. <laughs> yeah. Crown, King, the crown is on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's more gross. Yeah. Um, so. So, no more jock straps for you. Basically, I'm out. I'm done with jock straps. I actually like them. I just want to wear like, supportive shit, underwear. I don't care about the support. I want to look hot. I actually, I got a thong this week. Yeah, and it's amazing. I, 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 I love I, it. I love it. I don't know. First of all, they fit great. You don't have think to worry about, about your cheeks hanging. Think about that strap. At the end of that the strap. Uh, it actually uh, smelled fine after I wore uh, for a while. My crack smells good. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. With those oh, stains. Oh, your shit don't stink? Oh, with, no, it doesn't. With those fucking stains. Stains? Back rolls. <laughs> your hole. I don't have stain. Oh, the brown. The brown stains. <laughs> Those, bitch, those aren't stains. That's just life. It's just your weather. You're road hard and put away wet. We all Which are. Look I at did, us. We're about to go out and be like, we're I so did make out. a comment about that this week. I forgot to you. I was like, oh, wandering wolf pack. What about it? Road hard and put away oh, wet. Oh, fuck yeah. He looks so bad. It's not just the mustache for me. No, Remember, we I actually keep about, looking closer and it's closer. It's ugly. Like, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> is it the moles on the side? Here's the idea. Here's is the, it the big wart? Here's what I'm gonna is leave. It, here's what I'm gonna leave. SPF with. is your friend because you have his wrinkles on his forehead. Let's just leave it at this. Yeah, and then the boyfriend too. I was like, no. If you really look at people, okay, in person, <laughs> most people are ugly as fuck. <laughs> I'm talking, we all are ugly in a weird yeah, way. Even the no. hot ones have something fucking jacked Where it's up. it's like. Right. So we're all kind of gross. Okay. It's just. For some, it's more prominent. Exactly. For some, it doesn't take as much squinty-eyed looking like, what? But at the end of the day, we're all just disgusting. Okay? I like that. I don't even know what I was talking about. I'm glad that you feel you're disgusting. I don't. Um, Ready for dinner. No, but we are disgusting. Humans yeah, are no, gross. No, we really we are. Shit. I'm and I know shit. I thought about that the other day. I'm like, think about this. I was thinking about tr people traveling across the ocean on planes. Oof. And I'm like, you're getting into this plane for 16 hours to go to fucking Australia or 18 hours. And they're just piling food Shit. into you. They're like, here's your breakfast. Here's your snack. Here's your right. It's like, wait. Here's your dinner tray. Here's your morning snack before you land. And it's like, all of that is just turning into shit in every body on that plane. And everybody. It's a plane full of people full of shit. I would be in so it's much gross. pain. It's gross. I get really bad gas pains. 18 hours. Pains. <laughs> I get really bad gas pains, <laughs> indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea, diarrhea, gas pains. It's true. You're so gross. Listen, Actually, you are the as gross my one. buckets were dripping out of my asshole. Oh yeah, it was like I was gassy, <laughs> but I could not trust a fart. So it's like I was so goddamn gassy, I'm bloated. But then I would go to, <laughs> to go. I did not short. This How round. are you ever gonna eat grapes again? I'm never eating them again. Full circle back. I really don't think I'm gonna eat grapes again. And that's Full been another episode back. of Not Well. We wish Jim well. Hopefully he's doing great in Mexico, and he's probably never gonna listen to this episode. And um, only it came out on Wednesday. Yeah, uh, it's or Thursday, because I don't feel like working this weekend. You shouldn't. I'm off the clock. <laughs> it's a shit storm. God, my life is so boring. Uh, all right. Well, everybody have a great week, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, bye. And guess what? He's going to have stories, too, honey. I'm going to have stories. Oh, fuck. Because I'm going to be a naughty little bitch. We need to talk about the bathhouse. Oh, I'm going to. No, I'm, finding, I'm finding them.